one of the most important things that happened to me was that I realized uh, at one point, and had the questions in, in the Project Institute, what uh, were the things or the persons in your life that had placed curses on you, and what uh, people that blessed you, list, list, list some people, list some things. And I started listing all the people that blessed me in my life, and just all the important people blessed me. And on the curse side, I, I thought of one really painful incident in elementary school. A guy a year or so older than I called me a name which stuck to me for about four or five years after that in my nickname and I hated it. And I was, felt like the underdog of the, of the school all through that thing. I was smart, I, the teacher liked me, grades, uh, there wasn't a lot of evidence for, for me feeling so inferior, but that spirit of, of inferiority has been part of my personality all my life, and I am an introvert, God created me that way, but on top of that, the enemy put the spirit of timidity that we, we studied later that is the, the spirit of timidity. God has not given us a spirit of fear or timidity, but of power and of love and so on. Well, no, I've done a lot of ministry things over the years, and God's blessed, and I've exerted myself and done stuff, but I've mostly, my style has been to be in the shadows and support other people, and that's fine too, but always feeling like what I have said doesn't really matter that much and it's not really that important and who, who really cares about what I have to say or what, what I think. And uh, God is, I don't know yet what that's going to work out in, in the next years of my life. I'm just sad that it's this late in my life that 